Henri, right now a strong tropical storm, but expected to become a hurricane sometime early tomorrow morning. Now that it's moving into a better environment for it to actually strengthen, it's going to be moving through a lot of very warm water up and down the East Coast. As it makes its way toward New England, which it's looking more and more likely that will happen, it will start to encounter some cooler water, and that may allow it to kind of slow down and weaken a little bit before it makes landfall. But the forecast track with this storm continues to shift farther west. In fact, the 5 p.m. update now has the storm making landfall Sunday afternoon on the Long Island coast and then making a second landfall in central Connecticut. It'll be moving almost right over Hartford and potentially right over us here in Western Mass, bringing some significant tropical storm conditions. So a lot of sustained wind up to 40 miles an hour for several hours, gusts getting even higher than that, uh, and periods of torrential rain that could lead to a lot of flash flooding across the region. It will finally start moving out during Monday afternoon as a depression and then we'll be moving off the coast of Maine by Tuesday afternoon. So it is going to take its time. It's not going to be a very quick moving storm. Rainfall or excuse me, first we're looking at the wind. This is the probability of 40 mile an hour winds or higher and uh, that probability continues to grow here in Western Mass. In fact, Springfield and Westfield are now at about 70 percent probability of dealing with wind that intense as well as Newport, Rhode Island and Hartford. We seem to be the ones most likely now. As far as the future wind gusts, just kind of looking at what some of the forecast models are indicating, breezes do start to increase overnight Saturday and then Sunday morning wind will be howling, especially along the coast. Um, out towards some of the islands here, including Block Island, uh, Sag Harbor, they're going to be dealing with 60, 70 mile an hour wind gusts Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, wind gusts for Western Mass will start to increase, getting upwards of 50 miles an hour. And then as the storm weakens, the wind will start to lighten a little bit. It won't be as strong, but it'll still be fairly persistent, finally becoming light by Monday night. As far as the rainfall forecast, that could be significant too. Right now, some of the models are still bringing the biggest swath of rain right across Western Mass with as much as five and a half inches in Westfield. And that would be some very bad news for us as flash flooding would be almost a guarantee. Right now, the radar is showing, well, we're not seeing any rain on the radar yet because this one is still over the Atlantic, but that is Henri and that's what we're going to be watching. Until that gets here, things are pretty quiet. We'll see maybe some sunshine tomorrow morning, so the day is going to heat up really quickly. Might have a couple of showers develop in the afternoon and evening, though, but very hit or miss. Saturday night, we're still pretty quiet, but Sunday morning, the outer bands of Henri will start to reach us. Not so much with the severe weather or the tornado threat, but we will have occasional downpours. Then that rain starts to just become steadier and heavier, and it will progress through Monday, eventually tapering off Monday night. So flooding seems to be our biggest risk, but wind damage and power outages is right behind it, especially as that uh, path continues to shift farther westward. It's important to remember your flood safety tips. First of all, don't drive through it. We saw that just the other day just Thursday morning with people having to be rescued from their cars because they tried to drive through flood water. Just remember not to do it because we will have a lot of high standing water here across the area and we'll have more on that on our website. I'm going to do a very lengthy Facebook live tonight so you can join me for all those fun tips. Temperatures warm tomorrow. We're back to the upper 70s Sunday and Monday with rain and wind. Quiet for Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's going to be hot and humid. Chris and Jordan, back to you.